In this video, I'm transforming Avatar, the highest grossing movie ever, into a real website to see if it's possible to use AI, zoom effects, video carousels and other fancy animations to make a website as epic as a true Hollywood blockbuster. Now we're starting out with this, a blank canvas. Every designer's nightmare. So let's begin by sketching out what we actually want in here. So maybe a character standing on a cliff. I'm thinking it's looking out into a world of vivid skies and blooming nature. Also, I'm thinking as the site loads, we kind of zoom closer into the scene while a bold piece of text appears from the bottom. To make it more living, I'm thinking we'll just throw in some magic dust floating around in the sky and maybe even an animated icon that's gently hinting Scroll. And as a last little teaser, I'm thinking a tiny text field saying something mysterious. The first thing I'll dig into is the zoom effect. For that though, we need some images. And since I'm a designer, I can of course, like rather easily make them myself. You see, art really isn't that difficult. Now, to make this effect really feel like a Hollywood grade movie, we need to first separate the character from the background here. Once that's done, to create the effect, we just have to apply smooth zooms to both of the images and voila, an Oscars winning zoom effect. Thank you. Let's throw in the magic dust and add that humongous heading. Then I'll tweak the blend mode and apply some shadow to give it this cool glassy effect. And after that, I'll throw it behind the character, but on top of the background so that it looks like the text is actually in the horizon. Now let's add a low key narcissistic logo to the top and the animated icon plus the mysterious text to the bottom. We'll have them appear from each end of the screen while the big text is gonna do a cheeky little sliding from the bottom and boom. Who doesn't want to scroll that, right? Well, the problem is we don't have anything to scroll into yet. But before we create the sections to scroll into, if you're like, how the fudge do I learn to create websites like this? I do have a link to a special little wait list in the description, but more on that later. So let me just come up with something on a whim here. That will work. It just came to me here. Um, joy, agony, and salvation. Those, those will be the parts. And for joy, let's use the epic banshee flight part of the movie. I'm thinking a banshee flying across the screen as we scroll, along with a mesmerizing view of Pandora. Joy in big text, chat, I mean, my copy, and a link to that specific part of the movie. Let me just draw another image or two by hand. I'll put the view of Pandora in the background, place a blurred out dark color on the right side, and then add the content on top of the blur for the sake of contrast. I'll throw in the banshee and make sure that we instruct it to fly across the screen as we scroll. Then I'll place some tilt and fade in animations on the content. And lastly, I'll round off by making the button shine bright like a diamond. Shine preview that looks pretty dope actually now we have agony and salvation left oh i have a really cool idea for salvation but let's start with agony besides the content i'm thinking floating particles combined with dreamlike looping imagery to reflect the nightmare they're facing when the tree is set on fire. To mix it up we'll place the content in the middle of the screen instead of the right and that's the plan so as always, I'll sketch out some images, duplicate them and make the back one blurred out to get this cool glowing effect. Place them on the canvas and make them spin. 
Now I'll reuse the magic dust we used in the top, but I'll tweak the colors so that it looks like fire particles. I'll make the images move at different speeds as we scroll to give us this dreamy effect. Then I'll add the content and give it some classy fade in animations. And this is what we get. Beautiful agony. But as we see time and time again in Hollywood, luckily, agony only lasts for so long. Because after agony comes salvation. And for the salvation, I want to summarize the beauty of the journey. I want to use actual clips from the movie, put into a next level 3D slideshow floating space. I want it to glow like an aurora and I want it to be freaking stunning. As we scroll, it should smoothly fall into place above the content, leaving the website visitor feel like, wow, that was one hedge of a journey. So step one, chuck Framer's built-in slider onto the canvas, hook a bunch of avatar clips to our slider, add some dreamy 3D effects as we scroll to make it impossible to ignore these clips. Then for it to really pop, I'll again use our magic dust, but this time it's different. I'm gonna change the size, the shape, and the number of particles. Then I'll just add a bunch of vivid colors, blur it all out, and put it behind the slider. Now we get this fluidly moving, glowing effect. I will add the content below and make it really on brand with an avatar blue shiny button. And boom, salvation right in our faces. So what do you think? I mean, maybe not as epic as the movie, but still pretty dang cool for being a live website. And the crazy thing is that anyone, you included, can create websites like this with Framer. And it's easy. If you want to learn how, check out my upcoming Framer course in the description below. Until the next one, have a great life.